All right, so by now you have began to understand the driver needs by doing some empathy work. Um, you've also uh, started to define some of the problems that you want to solve uh, with the helmet for drivers. You've done some ideation, meaning you've come up with some ideas of features that you want for your helmet. And you've done some design work, some sketching and drawing to show kind of what are some of the features of your helmet and what it could potentially look like. So now we are on the next step, 3D prototyping with construction paper. Let's get started. You're going to need a stapler, scissors, and five sheets of construction paper of the color of your choosing. Choose one color for this part. This will be the color of the base of your helmet. And then afterwards, you're gonna to get to add other colors and other elements to it. Whatever main color you want for your helmet, that's the color we're gonna get started, okay? Um, if you do not want to use a stapler, you can and alternatively use tape or glue. The stapler, for me, is the quickest method to, to use for this, okay? First step is going to be to fold the sheet of paper on the long side, along the long side, so a hot dog fold in half, two times. So one and two, and you want it to be sort of even so that when you open it up, you can kind of see where those lines are. Cut along those lines for all of these five sheets of construction paper. All right, so once you're done, it should look like this. All right, so we've got your strips. They're all pretty equal in width. And the first part is going to be to take three, or for our younger learners, if you are a little smaller and you have a smaller head, maybe two strips of construction paper and you're gonna attach them together. I'm going to do three because my head is a little bigger. You may even have to go to a fourth one. Okay. And then you're going to make a circle with it and you actually want to try to fit it around your head just to see what it will look like and feel like. Because for a helmet, you're going to need some space. You don't want to do it so it's tied up. You want some extra space. So the helmet should kind of fit like this. So for me, a little extra space like this is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to staple it right there. And this is the, gonna be the base of your helmet. Step three, we're going to create the support structure that goes across the helmet. So take two more strips, staple them together. Okay. And now we're gonna put it kind of like this, but instead of putting it right in the center, we're gonna angle it a little bit towards the back. And that's going to help us to create um, a space for our visor. So I'm going to staple two on that side. And if you have any extra, you can fold it or just cut it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm using most of that two sheets. I'm maybe, like I showed you, maybe just cutting a little extra off the ends there. But for the most part, it's the full length. Step four, okay? So I'm gonna take two more, staple them together. One, two, you're just putting two staples together. And now I'm gonna, this is gonna be the top of the helmet. So this gap here, if you look at it from the side, this is where the visor is gonna be. This is where the driver is gonna see through, right? Um, so we wanna create a little space here. And so for the visor, you want to leave a little bit of space here and you want it to be kind of at an angle. So it's not parallel, but it's a little bit at an angle and you want it to be kind of matched on both sides. So I'm going to put one right about here on this side. Let's go ahead and staple it. I'm going to put again, two staples is usually good. One sometimes will not be enough because the paper will move around. And now on the other side, I want to make sure I kind of match that angle and that distance that I have here on this side right here. So I'm going to go ahead. That looks pretty good right there. And I want to make sure my paper is not sticking out. This is not sticking out too much. I actually want it to be a little bit shorter than this. 
So it should come in a little bit because the helmet kind of goes at an angle here. So I'm gonna bring this in a little bit and I think that's pretty good right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put two staples. Step five, get two more sheets of paper, staple them together again, one, two. And now this one is gonna go across. So we're gonna start at the center in the front, right, right in the front of the helmet. You're gonna staple it right there. And I'm gonna put one, two. And then you're gonna go all the way to the back. Now, right now, the helmet is still pretty weak, right? It's still pretty flimsy. So you're gonna to have to work around it a little bit. And you're definitely gonna have extra. You don't need to use all of that. You can either fold it under or you can cut it. Okay, so let's see here. I want to, before I get all the way over there, I'm gonna to try to space this out. And I'm gonna put a staple right here. I just need one on this one, just so it's attached there. And then this one right here, I'm going to attach right there. Two more, one, two, and I'm just gonna cut it. Okay. So now your helmet should look something like this. And this is the frame of your helmet from here. You, all you have to do is start filling in the gaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to use just one single paper and I'll show you here. For this one, I'm gonna fill in by going across, inside, over, and inside. So it's almost like you're weaving a little bit. And I'm going to fill that in there. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there. Okay, so now I'm filling that in. And you keep doing this, right? Okay. All right, now you have your basic finished out frame, but it's still really weak, okay? So your next step and final step before you begin to decorate it is to reinforce it. And to reinforce it, what I mean is, this is just one sheet here, right? So we wanna double it up or triple it up. So what I like to do is I'll take one of my extra sheets. I started with five, but I'll take a full one, a sixth one, and I'll fold this just like we did in the beginning when we cut it, but instead of cutting it, I'm just gonna keep it folded. And I'm gonna use this to line my, uh, my helmet here. So for example, I can put it on one side here. I'll staple it, I'm putting it on the inside so you don't really see it much. Stapling a few of them. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Fold it in half, and then in half again and line it on the inside of the other side of the helmet. Okay. Now you can begin seeing that it's a little bit stiffer already. I'm gonna add some on the inside here and here maybe one going across here. All right, now I've got a much stronger, stiffer helmet. And so once you're here, you've got your base, you've got your basic shape. Now you can start adding some of the other colors and some of the de design elements. You can add your trim, your details. Again, using the scissors and the stapler, you can also at this point bring some glue and tape if you want as well, and then you can decorate it. And once you finish that up, you should get something that could look like the examples here. All right, everyone, good luck designing your helmets. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all come up with.